What's going on guys? Getting ready for work. Been feeling in the mood to uh, put up some new content. So when I get back from work, thought I'd decide to get the creative juices flowing. See what I come up with. Cause I know it's been a while. So let's see what I come up with when I get back home from work. And now as I prepare to step on at the house, time to pull on the boots and threaten up the laces. Home from work and I am fucking exhausted. But tonight I will be bringing back a blues and bruise video. But first, a shower. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Blues and bruise time. Let's see what I picked for tonight. Hmm? Dinner time. Got that Post Malone playing Lollapalooza in the back. I think I'll watch it and then think about what I'm gonna pick for my blues and bruise tonight. Like that ring I never want. Now, one of my most recent additions to the collection is The Wraith by Vestron Video. Don't remember too much about it, seen it once, but for tonight, I think I feel like watching another release by Vestron. This one is Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. Now, I've always had a hard time explaining this film, but here's my take on Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. So it's basically the story of machines coming to life, killing humans after a radiation storm from a comet that passes Earth. The machines are led by the Green Goblin semi-truck, and Emilio Estevez leads a resistance of survivors trapped in a gas station. Boom. Maximum overdrive. The video games is playing me! Maximum overdrive is my choice for tonight. I remember watching it as a kid and, uh, that's me opening up another beverage. Um, but I remember TNT would uh, always show this movie on TV and then just me just being in awe. Uh, it's not for everybody. It's kind of cheesy, but hey, killer uh, trucks, killer automobiles uh, led by uh, the Green Goblin semi-truck. I know I am uh, drinking White Claws. This is called Blues and Brews, so uh, it wouldn't be blues and brews if I wasn't actually drinking an actual brew so let's go see what I got tonight's beverage of choice is space cake double IPA by clown shoes so this is Stephen King's maximum overdrive on blu-ray by Vestron video and I am pairing it with space cake double IPA by clown shoes pizza is a done uh, yes I'm now let's play that shit. Oh yeah, and ACDC does do the soundtrack. And that is the one classic ACDC album that I do not have. That Who Made Who album. Sure. Well, then why don't you make your last draw? That's a lot of head. Goddamn. That is a beauty. I haven't actually drank beer in a good while. But I have had this specific beer before and it is a delicious so cheers and welcome back to my blues and brews video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's that green goblin semi i always thought that one was fucking badass So I have been doing all right with my diet. Haven't eaten all day. This will be my first meal of the day. Hmm. You want me to work for nine hours and only clock in for eight? Now I know you beat the college boy. Yo, Emilio Estevez was a badass back in the eighties. You name it, uh, the Breakfast Club, Wisdom. 
even though that movie flopped, but I thought that movie's badass. Young Guns, one and two. Oh, The Outsiders and uh, Repo Men. I almost forgot to talk about the beverage. Damn good uh, double IPA. Very citrusy as a double IPA or IPA would be, but this one is uh, really good and balanced. Cheers, guys. Run, kids, run! Murder, death, kill. When I eat these twists, for some reason, I just turn into Jonathan Davis. And we're gonna have Yardley Smith, best known for playing uh, the voice of Lisa Simpson on The Simpsons. This movie was directed by Stephen King, which is his only directorial role ever. Not bad. And there you have it, Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. One more time, there it is, a Maximum Overdrive. Classic science fiction horror from 1986. One of my favorites from Stephen King. Pretty cool that he uh, put ACDC as the soundtrack as he did the Ramones for Pet Cemetery, One of the reasons I wanted to do this Blues and Brews video today was to get my creative juices flowing. It's been a while since I've put out some content. Hadn't been feeling it lately. Feel a little rusty making new content. But I guess it's just practice for what's to come this October for my Halloween double feature videos. One movie I wanted to touch on, the 34th anniversary of The Lost Boys. One film I did use in my Halloween double features last year. Now even though I felt rusty filming this, putting out new content, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys hit that like button and subscribe button. And look for me on social media. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. How you tore your dress. What a mess. I confess.